A free spirit who always rooted for the underdog. That's how Denise Yon describes her daughter Willow. You may remember her tragic story when she was killed in a wrong way crash back in 2022 on US 131. 13 year science Lauren Baker spoke with her mother who says you shouldn't remember Willow by how she died, but how she lived through her friendships, creativity and her shoes. To know Willow Yawn is to know her shoes. This was her first pair of cowgirl boots and she wore them with pride. Like she strutted these things <laughs> from boots to heels. She felt that once she could afford really expensive shoes, she had made it. Her mother Denise says her daughter had an eye for fashion since she was born. She went to prom all four years, homecoming all four years, and she had the most beautiful dresses. But that creativity didn't stop with her clothes. It flowed through her hands, through her artwork. If you zoom in, you can see that this is actually Detroit. And this way down here is Fowlerville. A piece that she says. Just says where she was going. But that dream was cut short when the 22 year old was killed in a wrong way crash on US 131. Getting that phone call kind of just was the first moment of destroying our family. It was a moment Denise says she couldn't believe. She even thought the doctor was pulling a prank on her. I kept accusing him of that he was lying until he said, I massaged your daughter's heart with my own hands. And I know that that is the last effort they'll try. And then I knew this was not a pretend phone call or a prank of any kind. But in that dark time, Denise says something came to light. Willow's true impact on the world around her. It started with the memories. Thing like this one here that I have, she's making a silly face. And uh, you know, even as an adult, she'd make a silly face at you just to get you to smile. And the memories turned into reality. The funeral. We thought 40, 50 people. We had almost 400 people who came. And surprisingly, I knew almost all of them. People who say Willow was more than just her fashion or her art. She was that friend, that someone who wanted to make sure everyone else knew they were important. She cared about the underdog. And now Denise is carrying on that legacy by telling others about Willow, advocating for safer driving and helping families who are victims of crime. When asked what families should do when a crime happens in the first 48 hours, she says be prepared to ask for help with many things and get a lawyer. Victim of crime, you got to be patient. The police aren't going to tell you anything. You know, the prosecuting attorney we had and the lawyer we had individually uh, was so supportive and that was the only people that we were really getting information from. She also says give yourself time to breathe and grieve. Through her grieving process, she has been able to not only see Willow for who she was, but also see how her spirit has continued to impact others. And that's something that I'm really, really proud of because it's difficult to raise a child that will friend anyone no matter race, color, wealth, anything. And I'm really, really proud of that. I'm really proud of it. Lauren Baker, 13 on your side. The wrong way driver who killed Willow was sentenced to three and a half years in prison. And at 13 on your side, we honor all victims of crime who have died through a more than a number initiative. Scan this QR code and it will take you to our website. There you can tell us how you're remembering your loved one and find resources to help your family move forward.